Good morning. Good morning. Well, almost good afternoon. It's, oh, we're fogging here. Better. Okay, so good morning. Like I said, we're, we're fogging because it's humid like always in Florida. But in any event, we are on our way to Magic Kingdom. Hold on, I gotta clean you guys off again. You guys look so much better. Anyway, Magic Kingdom. We're gonna go on a couple of rides. And then are we doing anything after those couple of rides? I don't know, we're gonna kinda take it easy, but we have uh, early dinner tonight, and then we're not sure what tonight's gonna do. Go. Come on our little adventure to Magic Kingdom. Sorry, you're fogging again. <laughs> Frighten you, 
prematurely. So we're eating at uh, Pico's Bell right now. Uh, I got the vegetarian nachos with rice and beans and guacamole and everything else that comes with nachos. We met up with our friend Lily. What did Lily get? Vegetarian nachos. And Just Michael. Beef, beef nachos. Gotcha. And Amy got? I got a burger. With nachos on the side. Nachos and queso on the side. I'll let you know how uh, the salt tastes after we're done eating. Uh, so, Lily had the vegetarian nachos. She said it was good. Um, she went to the bathroom. But uh, she thought the veggies had a weird texture, so she just did the chips and the cheese. Young Michael. How was yours? A little spicy, but I'm not that good with spice, so. But other than that, it was good. Amy ate all of this. Yeah, burger was good. Traditional burger, nothing special. How was yours, Josh? Uh, mine wasn't that bad. As you can still see, I left a lot. It was a lot of food and my eyes were bigger than my stomach. So I had the corn, the cheese, the lettuce, the tomato, the salsa, the guacamole, the rice, the beans, the jalapenos. I didn't have the squash zucchini thing. But as you can see, my eyes were bigger than my stomach, so I am full. Note to self, don't ever eat that much food. All right, guys, so we're about, we had lunch a couple of minutes ago, as you guys saw. Yep. What rides have we gone on so far today? We went on Haunted Mansion, we went on Seven Dwarfs. Yeah, Jose, di disclaimer, and we apologize. Um, Haunted Mansion, we don't have a great camera, so we couldn't really film that much. So that's the reason why you probably only saw like a small little like blurb of it. My favorite ride though, so I felt like I needed to film it. But in any event, we are uh, about to go on Pirates which right now, the regular way is 50 minutes, but I'm just gonna pan this way so you guys can see. This is the line for Fast Pass. I find it funny that there's a line for Fast Pass. It's because people don't get their tickets out fast enough or they, they're too early for the Fast Pass and then it bottlenecks. But also it's people that don't realize that this is the Fast Pass line or try to get into the Fast Pass line that don't have Fast Passes, so. Guys, educate yourselves. If you do not have a Fast Pass, please don't wait in that line. You're gonna bottleneck <laughs> and cause a ginormous line. All right guys, we'll see you inside the ride. Jokes? You want to hear them? Say yeah! Yeah! Okay, this is 
is from Stevie in Massachusetts. What does a nosy pepper do? Say what? 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 Gets jalapeno business. <laughs> and this is from Jeremy in, Jeremy in Texas. Why would Snow White make such a good judge? Say why. Why? Because she's the fairest of them all. <laughs> Wasn't he great? Oh. All right, guys, as you just saw, we, uh, we just went to go see uh, the Monsters, Inc. Uh, comedy show. Uh, we went on uh, the Carousel of Progress, but I decided not to film that. I think we filmed it last night. But uh, we're going to head back to the resort right now to go uh, eat some dinner. I mean, where are we eating? The Spring Canyon. We're going to get a big, really big platter, and we're going to share it with everyone on the table. So now we're sitting down. As you can tell, we've already started uh, feeding our mouths. Amy, what do you got there? I have a salad with apple and apple vinaigrette. And we already had cornbread and a big glass of water. Which really has the cornbread right there. And Amy's ginormous glass of uh, water. And we're not quite sure what he's doing over there, but... <laughs> I guess he's enjoying his, uh, his little chocolate unlimited shake. chocolate shake, which by the way, for those who don't know, they, uh, they have chocolate shake and vanilla shakes that are uh, free refills for the entire night. And strawberry. And strawberry, thank you, Andy. Oh, they had strawberry? I didn't know that. You can get it after You that. can still get strawberry. You can, so, so you can switch your flavor. So in any event, if you guys ever want uh, a chocolate shake or a vanilla or strawberry for the rest of your dinner, Carmel. you guys can. Carmel. We have caramel too. Oh, okay. That was our waitress. And caramel. My name is what? What's her name, Josh? Susie. Oh, Josh. Oh my God. Oh, I know, right? Is mom gonna make dinner? All right, yeah. guys. We'll show you when dinner comes. And this is my moonshine margarita. Sorry, we forgot to add that. Mom got that. She's the uh, alcoholic at this table. If you can't tell. <laughs> Miss Amy, tell me what we got. So we have cowboy style beans, pork ribs, pulled pork, and sausage. We have chicken and brisket, mashed potatoes, corn, and green beans. So as you guys can see, that can easily feed a family of five. So we're gonna eat this and then tell you guys uh, what we think about it afterwards. All right, mommy. Hi, Josh. So. What'd you think? Well, the ribs were outstanding. The beans were a little too spicy for my liking. The chicken was excellent, done just right. And I am still working on this delicious moonshine margarita. Miss Amy? Everything was really good. Chicken was super moist. Corn was a little salty. Green beans were great, and I love the cornbread. Miss Lily? I think the cornbread is my favorite by far. Yeah. She left a lot there too. No, I ate a whole piece before, and most of this one. Mr. Michael. Eh, is that it? <laughs> Only all right. Is that it? Nothing good. Nothing I bad. Nothing. <laughs> well, the chicken, I like just the skin. So. Okay. <laughs> you know. That. No, I like skin. <laughs> I like skin. I uh, didn't eat any of the meat. I ate all the vegetables though. Almost the entire skillet. <laughs> Our waitress is looking at me and judging me. But everything was pretty good. Cornbread was the best. Because I make it, tell them yes. Susie makes it. Susie makes it. Our waitress makes it. Um, the corn was extremely salty though, I will say that. Um, the waitress was telling, uh, telling us earlier that uh, everything is soaked pretty much in butter and salt. So if that really is the case, everything was pretty much salty and buttery. So. But it wasn't that bad for what we're type of atmosphere and the type of food you're thinking about getting here. It's you get what you pay for. It's so. cowboy classic. And it's cowboy classic. So if you wanted a burger, it's gonna be big, juicy, and everything else in between. So also excellent mashed potatoes. They weren't from instant potatoes. They were real potatoes with real chunks in it. Very buttery. Very very good. 
Last thing, just for those who have never been to Whispering Canyon, if you ask for a large border, you will get one of these. Or you'll get what Amy got, which is one of these, which looks like she drank about half of it. It's pretty good. Another thing, don't ask for ketchup. Back in the day, they used to, when you used to ask for ketchup, the waiter or waitress would scream out, we need some ketchup, and literally the entire place would get up and bring you ketchup. Now, the waiter or waitress will just bring you an entire case of ketchup. So, don't ask for ketchup, and don't ask for a large water. Or small, you'll get like this size. Yeah, the waitress actually gave me a little uh, teacup size of worth of water. So. so, Josh was on his phone. So he got in jail. Are you in jail for how long? Seven minutes. Well, less than that. Six minutes, 30 seconds. So I got yelled at for being on my phone. I had a fire call. I wanted to know where the location was of the call. And I yelled at. She caught you. Eh, it happens. Now you're on your phone. Get off your phone. So for once, you can actually see that there's actual daylight and we're actually calling it a day. What time is it? Uh. 6.22. Yeah, we're old. No, we have a long, we've had a long week. Long week? She was about to say long day. We didn't have a long day. We're getting to the end of the week and we're tired, so. We're, we're old. Gonna, we're gonna end it here, but we may just kind of hang out at the hotel, soak our feet in the hot tub type thing. Sorry, I know we're getting dark. We're actually you know, going back to our hotel room. But in any event, guys, thank you for watching. I don't know what day this is. What are we on, five? <laughs> this is Something day like five. That. This is day five. Okay, day five. Day five. Um, Thank you for watching day five. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Click that little bell thing at the bottom. I think it's like right there-ish. Um, click like, comment below. Let us know what you've liked so far, uh, then what have we done? What rides you like that we've done on? What you don't like about those rides, whatever. Uh, just make sure you like us. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys tomorrow.